Hi everyone, it's Kara from the Recreation Department. I'm here today because we thought we'd do a couple videos for you to do at home. So this will be nice if you want to have something maybe for Easter um, and you're watching our YouTube videos. We thought maybe you'd enjoy doing this craft at home. And I'm going to kind of help you. We'll do it a little step by step. And today we're going to be making an Easter egg that eventually will look something like this at least Ooh. the shell and then we'll go in on and decorate it later but this is what we're trying to get to so in order to do it we are going to need some glue which you all should have at home any color yarn obviously maybe stay in the pastel -y colors for easter to make the egg uh, a balloon and i just blew up this one and then some glitter and we all love glitter so we want to protect our tables, whatever we're doing, because um, it might get a little messy. Your hands are going to get a little messy in this activity, but it's something nice that you can do at home. Take your time. You're going to need some time to let it dry. So that's why we're saying do it at home so we don't have to wait. <laughs> Anyhow, so what we're going to do after we have our scissors, obviously, you're going to take some yarn and just maybe cut a piece that you think is workable. And then we're going to dip it in the glue and then from the glue we're going to wrap it around our balloon when we're wrapping around our balloon i started this one over here when we're wrapping around our balloon we're wanting to leave an open round space for the front of our egg so do not wrap a portion in the front of your egg so you're just going to basically take a piece of string dip it in the glue and I've seen some other variations of this where you can actually dip also in like sugar water is another one, starch is another one, maybe Mod Podge. But glue is kind of common and most people have that at home. So you're going to really want to saturate that yarn and then we're going to pull it around our egg. And you're just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping different pieces of our yarn. I'll do one more show you, get you an idea. I, to help me, Kind of made a little anchor you can kind of see so the balloon doesn't roll all around i just took a piece of the extra yarn tied it and marked it down with some tape onto our table so then the balloon doesn't roll every which way but straight on you because your hands will get messy in this little process so one more time i'll show you we're going to again really focus on the front of our egg first and try to get that round nice shape around the front and then just pull it around and don't worry because it's going to stay regardless. It doesn't have to be pretty. There's no special way to wrap. You just kind of wrap, wrap, wrap. And you're just going to tuck it all in like that. So we're going to take that wrapping and go all the way around. And you can cross over. It doesn't have to be. You can take it any old way. Just, just so you leave that open space up front for your egg. Once we had it all wrapped, we'll say this is all wrapped, we're going to take some glitter or you can take sugar and you're just gonna put a little bit on the glued part like that and kind of glitter all the way around the egg. And we're gonna keep that glitter looking nice and shiny because it gives a little extra something to our eggs. So we're gonna put that there. Now, let's go wash our hands after you're done wrapping the whole thing because then we're going to tell you what you need to do next. So see you in a minute. Hi everybody, we're back from washing our hands. We're now at the stage where our egg should be drying and you could just leave it overnight from the string and just hang it on a doorknob or a kitchen counter somewhere that's going to just need to dry. So after this wrapped egg would be dry, you're going to have a balloon inside of this wrapping and then you could just deflate the balloon, whether pop it. Mine actually deflated on its own so I was able just to pull it right out. Some of them will, some of them won't. But you're going to take that balloon right out and when the balloon pops out you're going to have this shell and you can see it kind of looks like this and now we just need to decorate this is the fun part so to make our egg look kind of cute i thought we would try to get some easter grass if you have some at home you can use easter grass you can any type of stuffing up we just happen to have this here so i'm going to put the easter grass inside of it like so maybe i went out to the store and got some chicks and rabbits <laughs> i just thought that would be cute maybe we'd put a couple of those in there 
If you actually have real chocolate bunnies, maybe you want to put in there, some jelly beans. But we're just using what we got around here. So that and that. And then I thought, too, we could do one more thing to make it even cuter. And that is maybe make a bow. And we've discussed before how to make a bow, but it's basically tying. This is my bow, but I'll show you how we do if you want to make a bow. It's just like tying your shoe, except you're not on your shoe. You tie it around your hand. So you're going to just take a piece together like this, wrap it around your finger, and pull it through. And the key to it is you just have to fuss with it a little bit. Lots of times it's, it's a lot easier than people think. So you get a basic something like that, but now we have to make it look pretty. So we're just going to fluff it out a little bit. Fluffing is the key to a bow. If you leave it in one spot and make them somewhat even. This one's a little not even. So you get it to a size you like. That looks good. Maybe take my scissors. This side looks a little long now. But it can be fixed. Just cut it at an angle. And there's this bow. So again, bows just take time fluffing and taking care of it. Add a little, we have blue dot, but you can use any type of glue. And I'm going to add a little dot on the end. Take a little glue and maybe put that right about there. So here, ladies and gentlemen, is your finished sugar looking egg. Really glue and glitter. And that is our whole little egg project. But it's something cool to do at home if you have time. We look forward to seeing you all here again soon with us doing these activities. But until then, make sure you watch our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining. See you next time.